What's up, everybody? Georgia and got them another damn blowout win. Sadly, I'll put it that way. I mean, 45-19, <laughs> Mississippi State. They had it close at halftime. <laughs> I think it was like 17-12, to 12, I believe. Uh, Mississippi State got a run back on the on the on the uh, punt, so uh, they, they they had it close at the half, but uh, coming out for the half, Mississippi State couldn't do a damn thing. I mean, not nothing. They scored one touchdown in the second half, nothing else, and Georgia just keep on damn trucking. But anyway, Stetson Bennett, he threw two interceptions today, but guess what? Guess what? He threw three touchdowns, and he ran for one. So Stetson Bennett had him a pretty good game today, all except for the uh, two interceptions. But uh, other than that, man, Stetson Bennett is getting the job done, man, with his arm and his damn legs, man. Like I say, he, he threw for three. He ran for one. I mean, on that touchdown that he ran, he just left dude standing still, man. I mean, he juked the shit out that mug. I mean, that dude. But anyway, Mississippi State, man, that, this air raid is not working for y'all. Y'all need to take that shit somewhere else. Take, Mike Leach need to take that shit back to the Pac-12 and play some damn SEC football because that shit ain't going to take you too far, especially against a team like Georgia. But anyway, uh, Kendall Milton and, uh, like I said, uh, Kendall Milton and uh, McCockney had a rushing touchdown. McCockney got that in around and he was gone. He was gone. I didn't think he was that fast, but, uh, yeah. He took it to the damn house receiving. Uh, McConkey had a touchdown receiving too. Darnell Washington had a touchdown receiving. Brock Bowers had a touchdown receiving. So it is what it is. Georgia just keeping on trucking along. I don't see nobody beating Georgia. I'm going to just tell you the straight up honest damn truth. I don't see no team in college football that can handle this Georgia uh, Bulldog football team. The SEC uh, championship game has been set. George Bulldogs against the LSU Tigers. And LSU, you ain't going to be able to do nothing with them. I'm going to just tell you now. So you LSU fans, if you feel like your Tigers have a chance against the Georgia Bulldogs, I'm sorry to tell you, you don't. You don't. I know I'm going to get some backlash on this. I don't give a damn. But you don't. No way, no how. You can talk all the shit you want about, well, we beat Alabama, we beat Alabama. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I'm going to just tell you straight up, LSU, I'd rather see you in the SEC championship getting your ass tore out the frame than my Alabama Crimson Tide. I'm going to just tell you that now because we're struggling like hell. And I don't want to get to the national, I mean the SEC championship and get blew out the goddamn water. I don't. So I applaud you for beating Alabama, but I tell you what, you going to, after the game, you're going to wish you hadn't never made it there. Matter of fact, during the game, you're going to wish you hadn't never made it to Atlanta. I'm going to tell you that right now, LSU. But anyway, uh, these damn Georgia Bulldogs, man, they, they, they ain't took no step back from last season, offensively or defensively. But I, I have to admit, it, it took them a while this season to get to where they are. They got better every game, I can tell you that. Uh, so, it is what it is. Kudos and hats off goes off to Kirby Smart, Todd Munkin. We are much champion everybody on that damn staff. So losing all the guys that they lost last year via the draft and the transfer portal and come back with a team like that, like this. Uh, so hats off to them guys. Uh, I'm sure they're going to beat the hell out of Kentucky and beat the hell out of damn uh, out, of, out of Georgia Tech. So they'll end the season undefeated going into the uh, SEC championship, <clears throat> into the SEC championship game. But anyway, talk about Jalen Carter too. I mean, damn, man. This dude, he had another hell of a game. I'll just put it that way. The dude is a great defensive lineman. So it is what it is, man. Oh, my goodness, man. I, I hate that Georgia is doing this. I hate it. It's, it's not my Alabama Crimson Tide. But Kirby Smart, he done took the things that he did, where he learned and did at Alabama and implemented them in the, uh, Georgia and just made them an all-around great team. Even with Stetson Bennett, a walk-on at quarterback. 
And I think, I think, now they about to go back to back. That's kind of hard for me to say, but, you know, that's that's what I'm thinking right now, unless I see something different within the next three weeks. These last two games, either either game, these last two games, which I doubt it, or the SEC championships, which, which I doubt. So it is what it is. Georgia, I mean, what more can you say about it, man? Uh, I'm an Alabama fan, you know, to the core, but I have to give credit what credit's due. I know a lot of fans don't like that, but I don't give a damn. If you, if just because you, I'm a fan of Alabama, that don't mean I can't give George credit. That don't mean I can't give Tennessee credit. That don't mean I, I can't give Ohio State credit. Come on, y'all. <clears throat> Let's be real. If you're a fan, a real football fan, you'll give any team credit and not just your own. So, like I say, Alabama fan to the core, through and through. But when you see, when you look at games, you see what's going on on the field and how a team is performing, you give them their credit. And we all know that my Alabama Crimson Tide, or if you're a Crimson Tide fan, our Alabama Crimson Tide is not performing up to par. We are subpar right now. And then you take a team, you look at Georgia Bulldogs, you know, they grade A right now. And my Alabama Crimson Tide is not. Georgia is grade A. So it is what it is. They playing good football on offense. They playing good football on defense. Now I, I thought Georgia would, would win by more than what they did. I didn't. I, I ain't gonna lie. I thought Georgia would win by more than what they did. So it is what. I, but I think my score prediction was pretty close. I believe I was, my score prediction was like forty-two to seventeen or forty-four seventeen. But anyway, Georgia just had a sluggish, not so good first half. But the second half, <laughs> Mississippi State couldn't do nothing. But anyway. Hats off to Kirby Smart than these damn Georgia Bulldogs. I hope your ass fall the fuck off next season. I really do. I really hope your ass fall the fuck off and and and, and my Crystal Tide could can get back to a way to the way we usually are. And that's the top tier team in the damn nation. That's all I got to say about that. But anyway, congratulations, George Bulldogs, Kirby Smart. In uh, Mississippi State, don't worry. Just go back to the drawing board. Just think of it like this. They had Georgia and sent every team back to the drawing board that they done played uh, this year and last year. That's all I got to say. Matter of fact, where well, they played 15 games last year, and they done played, what, 9, 10 games so far. So they're about 23-1 and one right now, or 24-1. and one. Going back to last year, no other team is that. I can tell you that shit right now. Right now. So you Georgia Bulldog fans, you soak it all up right now. Trust me, it ain't going to last as long as my Alabama Crimson Tide reign has lasted and is still lasting. Just because we done lost two games and we won't be in the SEC championship and we're not going to the playoff. Don't you think for one second that this Alabama dynasty is over? Because as long as we got the great one, Nick Saban, we will always be a threat to anybody. And that's including you, Georgia Bulldogs, roll damn time.